Every January, I set ambitious goals for myself and hope for a bright beginning. However, things rarely go as planned. I simply could not bring myself to be as active as I hoped, which makes sense considering it is cold, gloomy, and a start of another term. Ultimately, prioritized recharging and recovery. And lately, recharging looks like yarn. One of my favorite places that I visited this month is Downtown Yarns, which is in East Village, New York City. This is like yarn heaven. I bought a couple rolls of wool as well as Suri, I think that's how you pronounce it, and it's my first time working with Suri. I wish you could touch it through this video because it is so, so, so soft. I'm craving cozy and comfort, which is what knitting and crocheting offers. Along those lines, I rewatched one of my favorite movies, which is Pokoroso. I watched it dubbed for the first time and it was so enjoyable. I love super underrated Ghibli film that I would highly, highly recommend. I also watched the Kung Fu Panda trilogy for the first time and it was so fun. Lots of love. Winding Down also looked like reading. This month, some of my favorite books have been Shanghai Girls, I'm Glad My Mom Died, and Bear Town. All of them were so, so, so good. I don't have any footage of Shanghai Girls because I left the book in California, but I really enjoyed it and I loved annotating it. And I recently got the sequel and I'm so excited to read it. I haven't been reading as much since the semester started, but I'm hoping to pick it up again. I finally visited the Whitney Museum and saw their exhibit on Hopper, who is now one of my favorite artists. I could stare at his work for hours and it makes me think a lot about time. I was talking with my professor on what I could do for my final project and we were talking about how art imitates life but also life imitates art. It was a great conversation and I'm super inspired by like art and all things all around. I'm hoping to emulate some Hopper vibes in my future footage. One of my goals for January in particular was to take a picture every single day, and I almost succeeded, and journal every single day. I did journal every day, but I'm still working on the photos. Maybe in February, I may challenge myself to take a film photo every day, but we shall see if it happens. I'm also thinking about either doing that or taking some kind of cinematic footage for every single day of february i've been inspired to improve different ways of shooting and color grading so hopefully we'll be able to implement that into my videos on a personal level i value experiences much more than objects or like things i went snowboarding with my sister ice skating with my boyfriend i don't have any footage and i celebrated lunar new year with my roommates one of my roommates made a home-cooked meal and it was so lovely i had such a wonderful time and it made me so grateful but the morning after our celebration we found out about the shooting in monterey park which is my hometown and it was like a dark cloud over my thoughts and literally just everything for the past two weeks we try to move on as best we can and i'm doing so by making matcha it seems so silly but there is really something about having a ritual every single morning and it could be different for everyone so either journaling meditating or working out or like having something to ground you and for me it's just been making my mental health drink I got a new matcha bowl from Earth and Her Flowers, which I am obsessed with. It is so cute. I love so much. I love all the things that Earth and Her Flowers makes, so I would highly recommend checking out their store. An honorable mention is getting my nails done. This month's set made me very happy. It's super sparkly, very pink, and gave me like Korean nail art energy. This footage is when it was already grown out, but I still really enjoy it. Honestly, I'm not really sure what I want to do with this like monthly diary thing, but I thought it would be cool to bring back like monthly favorites and also I hope to use it as a way to experiment my storytelling. 
I hope you had a wonderful month and I am sending lots of love for February.